HBO agreeing to partner with Amazon Prime to stream older episodes of hit shows like The Sopranos and The Wire. It's the first time the premium cable channel is striking a deal like this with an online video provider. And if there's one company that's not very excited about this partnership, it's got to be Netflix. In California, joining us with more details is Bob O'Donnell, president and founder of Technalysis Research. Hi, Bob. Hi, how are you? Good, thanks for being here. So sure. why do you think HBO went with Amazon Prime instead of Netflix in this case? Well, that's a great question, and I'm not sure we'll ever get the real answer on that one. But clearly, Amazon uh, was willing to spend a fair amount of money to get this content. Um, and it's critical for them for long-term purposes for a number of reasons. First of all, of course, they've got the new Fire TV box, and they want to have unique content that's going to drive people to purchase that box. They also have their Amazon Prime video service. Um, and Prime is a huge deal for Amazon because Prime is makes people very sticky to Amazon, not just for content, but for all the other things that they buy from Prime, from Amazon, excuse me. And so by having a more attractive option in terms of content, that gives people more reason to sign up for the Prime service, which, oh, by the way, they recently raised the price of. This helps justify their price increase. And that, in turn, helps Amazon's overall business. So I think Amazon recognized, hey, we're going to place a big bet here, and we think it's going to be able to pay off in a number of different ways. And Bob, how do you think that price increase is going to play out? Netflix is raising prices for some newer customers. It will make Amazon Prime the cheaper option. Yeah, well, it's interesting to watch because Amazon just raised their prices as well. So everybody's raising their prices because they're recognizing they're going to have to spend more money to get original content or to get you know high quality content to maintain their customers. And you know we're seeing all of these companies even start to shoot their own and create their own programs in themselves, which you know three four years ago nobody would have, would have ever thought that would have happened. So uh, it's go ahead. Bob, one of the interesting things about this HBO deal, though, is it's a lot of older series. So you can't get Game of Thrones, you can't get Girls, you can't even get a lot of kind of the classic hits like Sex and the City. Do you think that'll change once H HBO gets more used to a partnership like this? Well, yes and no. Part of it is I think clearly they don't want to give away the newer stuff because they want to encourage people to continue to sign up for HBO's own services. Now, three years is a bit of a long gap. I could certainly see that being reduced over time. Maybe it'll be two years and then a year. I think to, for them to move to real time would require a very different business model. Um, but the other thing is some of these other shows that you mentioned, for example, Sex and the City, uh, they have exclusive arrangements with other people. So they're going to have to adjust their contracts over time. And of course, we saw Netflix stock price fall today once this news was out. It seems like it's just a sign that content is king. How do you think this war is going to keep playing out between these services and Hulu? Well, it's a great question. I think what we're going to see, as I started to mention, is we'll see more original programming being created. We'll see other types of interesting content deals like we saw today. I expect we'll see a whole number of those. Because, you know, eventually what we're seeing is people want to get their video entertainment service delivered via the Internet, just as they're getting all of their other kinds of information. So this is part of that long, gradual process of moving from cable and over-the-air transmissions uh, to direct Internet transmission of video content. And I think we're going to see a lot of baby steps along the way. All right, really interesting point. Thanks, Bob, for joining us.